So if you're a current electric car driver or you're thinking of getting an electric car, there's something you need to be aware of that might be coming down the pipe in the coming years. The Labour government are currently looking at a paper mile model, almost like a kind of toll uh, charge for electric cars uh, in the next few years. Interesting article here about it. And, you know, first of all, I think it's pretty useful to the read trace and say you know why are the electric cars quite important from a tax perspective and one of the key things for a business owner it's been quite a good tax way of getting a car um, because over the recent years getting a petrol diesel car through your business has been quite prohibitive in terms of tax charges you had a very high benefit in kind charges and you've also had um uh, very poor capital allowances in terms of the way you get the relief on the expenditure for the car uh, electric cars come along and a way to incentivise people to switch to electric cars, the government has have had very preferential tax treatment for um, electric uh, cars. So and, you know, at the moment, kind of very high level, you're looking at 100% write-off through the company uh, the second you buy the com- buy the car. So in the, in the first year, you acquire it, you get the full car deducted. It. That's even if it's on higher purchase. So you don't have to pay the you know, cash outlay in, in total for the car. It can be paid on a monthly amount on a higher purchase agreement. As long as you earn it, ultimately, then you can claim those 100% allowances in year one. So say you buy a Tesla for 70 grand or whatever, you could write for 70 grand in year one against your taxes, uh, against your profits that's subject to tax. So that's really key. Also, the benefit in kind charge has been really low compared to petrol and diesel. So you're looking at around 2%. It's going to go up slowly, but 2% is, is again, very, very uh, beneficial. Things like having... Um, no excise, no vehicle excise duty, um, and, and various other things, and incentives have been around having the charging facilities. So that's kind of where we've been, and uh, it's been again more and more people are switching to electric cars for this purpose. But one of the problems with this surge in adoption of electric cars is that there's a, then a loss of tax take on the petrol and diesel, because at the moment fuel duty is bringing in 25 billion a year to the UK when people fill up their cars with petrol and diesel um, that and that's obviously going to rapidly disappear as and when people shift to electric cars so how do they look to uh, reclaim that or recoup that and that's why the Labour government I think the Conservatives did look at it as well uh, it's not a new thing necessarily from Labour but it's something where they're saying you know we need a way to, to try and plug that gap and the way they could do it is by I say adding an additional charge for electric cars uh, drivers. They're currently looking at having some sort of system whereby they can look at reg plates, having electronic systems where you're beaming out your mileage and they can sort of check your intervals and then give you a bill on that basis. The current proposed rate is looking at uh, six pence per mile uh, as a potential charge for this. Um, So the average driver covering 6,500 miles would pay an extra £468 per year based on this new kind of uh, pay-per-driving kind of model. It's um, currently, you say, electronic drivers pay less in taxes compared to petrol car drivers. Typical petrol car uh, pays about 19 pence per mile in taxes, while an electronic vehicle driver only pays 7 pence per mile. So you can see kind of what's going on here. But it's difficult because I think from an electric car driver perspective, you know, you the reduction you know, in terms of emissions, etc., and the... Uh, effect that you know you, you've been kind of incentivized to get them it seems quite harsh you know I've been penalized or kind of put on a level playing field with petrol and diesel drivers seems a bit odd um, they're also saying it would help reduce congestion etc um, but you know it's kind of at the end of the day this looks like more of a kind of tax take and they reckon they might bring this in sooner rather than later because what they don't want to do is for more and more people to switch to electric cars and then to impose this charge later on because people will see it as a new charge and get upset about it whereas the sooner they do it before um, I think something like one in five cars or something are electric at the moment and that's going to crank up pretty quickly over the next two or three years so they want to get it in so it's kind of like it's expected that when you get an electric car you've got this additional charge it's not something that's new and suddenly imposed on you so um i think you know the this will be quite vehemently opposed i think um but when you go to other countries if you've been driving the u.s there seem to be toll roads everywhere so it's hard to see this not coming to force in some uh shape or fashion i think it's just disappointing for electric car drivers to have to put up with this when i so say they're making that shift doing the right things and then suddenly they're kind of put on a level playing field with petrol and diesel uh, drivers. It seems a bit odd. So one to keep an eye on. Still good tax benefits at the moment around electric cars. 
um, but have this one in the back of your mind, the potential change that's coming along that could impact. And they reckon 2029 is when it kind of is vaguely slated to be coming into force. So we'll have to wait and see.